So how you can make your VPN go from this kind of speed. So we're looking at around about 297 meg downstream. So how to go from that kind of speed, make just one change. And we can see now my VPN speeds connected to the same VPN, same location is now nearly doubled than what I was getting before. So in this video today, let me show you three quick tips you can apply to any VPN you're using to greatly increase your VPN speeds. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So the first thing we can do to greatly improve our VPN speeds is to change the protocol. Now, the first part of this demonstration I'll do on my Windows PC, then we'll jump over to my 4K Fire Stick Max, so I can show you the impact on that device as well. Now, now the VPN I'm using this demo is IPVanish, but you can apply these methodologies or these tips and tricks to really any VPN you're using. Now we can see by default, I'm connected to the OpenVPN protocol. Let's leave that as is. And we can see I've made a connection to a VPN server in London. I can now go over to the speed test just to see what kind of speeds do we get using the OpenVPN protocol on my Windows 10 PC. We can see my device is getting around about 270 meg downstream. Now my actual bandwidth, my internet bandwidth is more closer to 500. So we can say we're getting around about half of that using IPVanish and using the OpenVPN protocol. Okay, that's now finished. In fact, just to make it consistent, let's just do one more test just to show you that it's not gonna be a fluke or a one-off anomaly. Using that protocol, using that VPN server, using IPVanish with OpenVPN, consistently we get round about 250, uh, let's say 260 meg downstream. Now without making any other change, I'm gonna go back to my VPN I'm gonna click on disconnect. I'm just gonna change the protocol from OpenVPN to the brand new WireGuard. Now, now this is a brand new protocol, heavily optimized, really tuned for maximum speed. It is available for IPVanish and some of the other premium VPN vendors. Now I'm gonna click on connect again. So no other changes, just selecting a different protocol, still using a server based in UK, in London. Let's now go back to the speed test. And let's see what kind of speeds we get now by just making one change. And look at that guys, I'm getting now more or less my full speed using the WireGuard protocol on IPVanish. And it just shows you guys, sometimes when you get really slow speeds, it's not the VPN, it's probably the device or probably the protocol that you're using. I mean, that is just really impressive. I've never seen any kind of VPN speeds like that using a VPN. Now, just for consistency, let's do that one more time. Just to show you that it's not a fluke or just a one-off, using that protocol, we can consistently get over 500 meg downstream using a VPN. I mean, that, do give a thumbs up for that because that really is very, very impressive. Now this is what we're seeing on my PC and as I'm sure you guys know, the VPN speeds you get, one of the key factors in determining that speed is the device that you're using. So if you're using a slow or underpowered device with not much RAM or not much CPU, you will of course get much slower speeds. Where here we can see using my powerful Windows 10 PC, as it does have lots of power, lots of RAM, it does get very, very good speeds. Okay, so we can see we got more than 500 meg, again, using the WireGuard protocol. In fact, let's jump over to my NVIDIA Shield because the remote control is already in my hand. So here we can see I made a connection to a VPN server once again in UK. If I go over to settings, just so you can confirm that by default, it's using the OpenVPN protocol. Let's now press the home key. Let's see what kind of speeds we get. Okay, so on my NVIDIA Shield, my device is getting round about 135 meg downstream. 138 meg downstream. And let's do that test one more time. And then we'll change the protocol to WireGuard. And I will show you that if WireGuard is not available, another option you can use. 
Okay, so we're getting around about 150, uh, 155 make downstream. Okay, let's back out of that. And let's now connect with WireGuard. That's now connected. Let's press the home key. And now we can see in the speed test, we're getting around about, I would say about 30 or 35 meg more. Okay, so about 40 meg more. So it definitely gives you more speed. It's not as impactful as doing this on a desktop, but definitely we can see changing the protocol has given us much more speed. Let's try one more test. So again, we went from around about 150 meg downstream to around about 184 meg. Now, if WireGuard is not available on your device, in fact, let me actually jump over to my 4K Fire Stick. So here we are on my 4K Fire Stick Max, still using OpenVPN. If I press the home key, let's do a quick speed test. And we can see on this device, I'm getting around about 59 or 60 meg downstream, uh, which is actually more than enough even for 8K uh, gaming or 8K streaming. But now if I go back to IP Vanish, but here we can see where it says uh, protocol. Now by default, this will be set to UDP, but I found that if I change this to TCP, connect on that again. So just changing from UDP to TCP, I found also gives you much better speed results. And as I say, the proof is in the pudding. So if I press the home key, so we've gone from around about 55 meg to well over 100 guys. So you can see, even if you can't use the WireGuard protocol, just changing from UDP to TCP yields much faster speeds. And again, just for consistency, let's do that one more time. Quick test. So before we saw we're getting around about 55 meg and making that quick change, changing to TCP, we easily get over 120 meg downstream. So that's the first thing we can do on any of our VPNs that we're using is change the protocol. If you have WireGuard, definitely use that first. If you don't have WireGuard, switch to TCP from UDP and you'll notice much faster speed. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag TCP, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Now, the next thing we can do is to pick a VPN server closer to you. So in this demonstration, if I click on disconnect, and as you guys know, I'm based in the UK, but here, for example, if I connect to a VPN server in Australia, that means now anything I want to use, anything I want to stream or anything I want to access, that traffic has to go from my Fire Stick over to Brisbane, Australia, and then from there back to whichever site or whichever service I'm using. Now I've had a quick speed test here, just to show you that if it is possible, choose a server as close as possible to you. So in this extreme example, I've picked Australia and we can see that does have, you know, a big effect on the speed. So going from about 120 meg downstream, I'm now lucky to even get just over 10 meg. And the last thing we can do to speed up our VPN is to choose a server that has the least load. So as you can imagine, if a server is busy, that means more people are using that server, they're routing or routing the traffic through that server, which means it will then affect the performance. But if you can find a server that has least load, less busy, then typically you'll see much better performance using that server. Now, for example, let's say I'm looking for a server in New York because I want to have a New York IP address. I can find New York in the list and we can see we have a total of 150 servers, but I can actually click on this and I can now see the load of each of those servers. So this, for example, only has 19% load, which means it's at 19% capacity, whereas this one is at 43% capacity. So you can imagine using a server like this would be much slower compared to a server that's only at 19% capacity. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do think with these three quick tips, you should be able to get much faster speeds with whichever VPN you're using. And if you want to use the same VPN that I'm using, do have a look in the video description and the pinned comment for a discount code. Do leave me a comment below. And let me know if any of these tips worked for you and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.